theory. Now, equity theory of Adams is another interesting theory where I give you something, you give me something, or when I put in certain effort, uh, I expect a reward against that ex uh, effort. For example, I'm working in a company and I have been working since last five years. I did not get any hike in the job. Now, let's assume that I am still working, but probably my outputs won't be good because I have a feeling that my rewards are not met. On the other hand, if I'm working in the company for last five years, my rewards are met, what would happen? I would have a much more enthusiasm to work forward and there would be a balance which would be achieved between the input and the output and this would create a much more fair and satisfactory level of development. Now, how do we understand this phenomena? This equity is a very, very important aspect. We all know there are resources. Now, when there are resources, we say that there has to be equal distribution of resource. Now, if equal or fair distribution of resource is there, then this equity moves forward. However, we won't progress if the costs are too high, if the rewards are not met. Okay, if the rewards are not met or too high cost is there, in that case, there won't be a parity and Stacy Adams, who actually propounded this equity theory, was a workplace and a behavioral psychologist and he said that the input from the job and the output from the input needs to have a balance. So what is the input? Input is your skill, your labor, your education, your knowledge, your way of doing something and output is what? Output is reward, promotions, job security, uh, talking about more of uh, 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 perks that you can get from the company. But there are certain circumstances where equity is maintained. Now when the equity is maintained, what does that mean? You are trying to enhance each person according to their capability. So some would require more thirst, others would require less effort to rise. But the idea is to bring everyone on parity. Now, when you are putting the inputs and getting the outputs in contrast to it, if the input and the output of A and B are equal, then there is definitely a satisfaction. You would be very, very happy that whatever inputs I have put in, according to that, I got a job hike, I got a promotion, I got an increment. So there is satisfaction. Now, if your input outputs are much more greater than the input outputs at B, what would happen? There would be an inequity. This inequity would lead to what? This inequity would lead to a feeling of guilt. I could have done it, but I was not able to. If A was less than B, what would happen? There would again be an inequity, but this inequity would be a with associated with a feeling of unsatisfaction because you are not satisfied how the things turned out to be. So under this theory of Adams, there are four types of prepositions that are discussed. What are those prepositions? The first is the self inside. It is understanding who you are from within. The next is self outside, how you observe yourself from the outside. That means the rewards, the cause, the benefits. So you are weighing that against yourself. And the next is others inside and others outside. So others inside, and others outside are the next two categories. So others outside are basically other group members. They can either help you restore to the level of equity or could create a feeling of distress for you. Others inside are the people within your group members. So you would think that I am getting the reward versus they are getting the reward. So there can be a feeling which can sometimes lead to a conflict situation. Now, when I say there is inequity, how do we understand that inequity? If there are two people who have to walk up, one gets an escalator to ramp up and the other has escalator to go and the other has to use the stairs, I would definitely say there is inequity. Now, inequity should be met because where does inequity arises from? Inequity can arise from 
different inputs different outputs definitely if i am uh, two people are there in the office for one i give a very fast computing system for other i don't give a very decent system it is a age old system so definitely inputs vary so output would vary they have different reference again there is a different self perception for each of those and perception for others as well there can be episodes where job could be asked to uh, be uh, get, got rid of or you have person have to quit a job so all those are circumstances that can affect the growth and inequity can arise so this equity theory basically explains how we can perfectly manage the things the inputs versus the output so input output must be balanced and this balanced input output would lead to higher productivity if there is a imbalance between input and output this would create a difference in the perception and therefore intergroup relations would be affected so as a group if you need to progress the inputs and the outputs must be balanced decently and that is how equity theory works on the balance of inputs and outputs thank you